using the Shape Creation tool will display several tools on the left side of the viewer. The first four buttons are for creating shapes and adding points to existing shapes. The tools below allow you to move existing points and modify the tangents attached to each of these points. Let's go back to the first tool that we've already used and activate a stroke style that is white and 25 pixels thick. Press and hold the left mouse button to create a point and new tangent. Repeat this operation several times in the viewer, defining new tangents each time until closing the shape by clicking on the starting point. When creating a curve, clicking on the starting point again will close the path. Doing this will validate it at the same time. To better understand the concept of validating a shape, let's create a new curve. When we start drawing, there are two icons that appear at the top of the viewer. When creating a path, clicking on the button on the left will automatically close and validate the shape. So we don't have to click on the starting point again. The keyboard shortcut for this function is the Enter key. Now the two buttons at the top are grayed out because the path is considered validated. When creating a path, it's also possible to validate a shape without closing the curve. Simply click on the button representing an open path, or press the Escape key. Now the two buttons are grayed out again as the shape has been validated, marking it complete. Keeping this tool active, we can move the intermediate points of the path. The two buttons will stay grayed out until we select the first or last point of the curve. Selecting one of these two points allows us to switch back to creation mode to add points on either side. We can also click on the opposite point again to close the curve. Let's go back using Edit Undo to perform the same operation, but this time we'll click on the closure button. If we go back again, we can validate this curve and keep it open. Keep in mind that when creating a path, you can automatically close the path or leave it open using the buttons at the top or the Enter and Escape keys. Since the concept of a path and how it's drawn is separate in Autograph, it's possible to use the fill style even with open paths. Delete the current layer and select the fill style. As soon as we add a second point, the shape fill appears even though the shape isn't closed. But even if the shape visually appears to be closed, it's important to keep in mind that geometrically speaking, it's not closed yet. Later on, we'll use Boolean operations between curves to carve one shape with another, and this is only possible with closed shapes. To see this, let's create a second shape inside the path group. We can only combine these two shapes once the second shape is closed. Switching the second path to difference mode allows us to subtract this shape from the previous one and create a new path resulting from this Boolean operation. Adding a stroke style allows us to highlight the result of this Boolean operation. Later, we'll see that it's possible to move these shapes independently. Keep in mind that it's possible to visually fill shapes that are not yet closed, but if we want to perform operations between multiple paths, we'll need to close them. In this video, we went over how to validate a shape by closing it or leaving it open, and switch back to edit mode to add points at the beginning or end of a curve.